So this is a translate word problem question. We're also provided with an equation in A equals 360. Let's read the question and see what other information is provided and what we're actually asked to find. So the question says the measure A in degrees of an exterior angle of a regular polygon. So I know that A is in degrees. Um, is related to the number of sides. So I know that N is the number of sides. If the measure of an exterior angle of a regular polygon is greater than 50, so I know that A has to be greater than 50 degrees, what is the greatest number of sides it can have? So N equals what? So here is the provided information. And here is the question. Okay. So what I like to use here is I'm, I'm going to use another strategy called plug-in answers. I know that I can use this strategy because the question is asking me for the value of a single variable, n, and all of my answers represent that single variable, n. So I'm going to try choice D first. So why am I trying choice D instead of A? Well, because the question asked me to find the greatest number of sides. Now, the way you should interpret that is there may be multiple answers here that get you an A value that's greater than 50, but we want to quickly identify, right, because our time is ticking, we want to quickly identify the largest, right, the largest number N. So if we're looking for the largest number, we should start with the largest number and work our way down um, in terms of value. So choice D n is equal to 8. Therefore, when I replace n with 8 in this equation that's provided, I get 8a equals 360. I divide both sides by 8. I can do 8 into 360 on the side here. Uh, 8 into 36 is 32. Subtract, get 40. 8 into 40 is 5. So in this case, I get a equals 45. And therefore, choice D is not a good answer, pretty close. But again, I want A to be greater than 50, right? So this is not going to work. So how about the next number, the next highest N value? So C, well, that says that N is equal to 7. So then that would turn this equation to 7A equals 360. I divide by 7. Again, 7 into 360. 7 times 5 is 35. Leave me with 10, 7 times 1 is 7, leave me with 3, and of course I'd have some decimals here, I don't want to go that far. So in this case, uh, A is equal to 51, so that's just, that's pretty good, right, 51 point something. That's, that's pretty good, we wanted A to be greater than 50, 7 is the largest number that gets us there. So I'm going to say that choice C is the best answer because of that. Now if you wanted to go on and try choices B and A, what you would find is that they do work. They do provide A values, right? So they do both provide A values that are greater than 50. But again, the question wants the greatest number of sides, and that's why C is the best answer.